no one should have to live in conditions like this. But in this wet, cold, mould-infested flat live Franzoy and her two young sons. The bath she once used to bathe her children catches dirty water from the ceiling above. The leaks began four months ago, soaking the floors, destroying their possessions and turning their home into a health hazard. I've had to plug out my fridge since like for about three months now because um, water has been leaking down the back of it into the electric plug and um, it shutted off all the electrics. The damp began two years ago, but despite complaining to her landlord, Croydon Council, for the past four months, nothing has been done. I mean, there's only so much I can get angry and get upset and pull my hair out. It's, I just feel like I'm going to kill myself if I continue like that, so... I just try not to make it stress me out too much. You've got two children living here, Yes, I do. What do they say to you about this? Mommy, the house is flooding and are we going to move? Are they going to fix our house? And they're like, oh, are we going to be homeless? What do you say to them? I, so, I told them the truth. I said, I don't know if anyone's going to fix it and maybe we will be homeless because everybody I turn to, no one helps, so... This is the room that we're all living in. The only part of the flat undamaged is the bedroom where Franzoy and her sons play, sleep and eat and keep what belongings they have left. I had to move the microwave out of the kitchen and the kettle because obviously it's the only way I could probably make some noodles or yeah. warm up something. Do you worry about the kids' health? Yes, I do worry about our health. My youngest, I have to be using Vicks and vapor rubs at night because he can't breathe because he's so stuffed up. On the next floor up, we find the same problems in a different flat where Leroy is living. Because the mould is everywhere. I've had to move the furniture around so that the, the water doesn't land on the bed. This is all, this is all mould? This is all mould. It looks, it, looks like, it looks like there's been a fire. It's terrible. Leroy has had damp problems here for many years, but in November, the leaking began all over his flat, sparing not a single room. How long you had these four buckets here for? Since about Christmas. Every six hours, I emptied them and uh, put them back out again. So what did you do at night? I was going to bed about 12, wake up about six, empty the buckets, like Franzoy downstairs, Leroy feels ignored by Croydon Council. I have to keep on ringing the council over and over again to say, what are you doing about this leak in my flat? Eventually they said to me, there's no leak in your flat. They said there's no leak in this flat? They said there's no leak in this flat. Why do you think they're not listening to you? I've got a feeling, because when I used to ring up before, I used to say, Leroy, my name's Leroy McNally. And I've got a feeling that that puts them on the off foot, because straight away they say, Leroy, it's a black person, we don't want to deal with this person, blah, blah. I've got a feeling it's something like that. Eventually I started saying, my name's Mr McNally. I wouldn't say Leroy. And I got a better response. So you got a better response when you didn't use your Christian name? When I didn't use my Christian name. And it's not just Leroy's flat or Franzoy's flat. We've spoken to several residents in this block who say they've experienced damp, mould, leaks and flooding in the time that they've lived here. To assess the potential danger of living in these flats... It's the wettest I've ever seen, Plasterful. ..we invited an independent environmental hygienist to carry out an inspection. We've got a really, really high risk of electrocution here. Really? This is the sort of flat that I would have expected to see in a run-down area in the 1970s. We showed what we found in this South London tower block to the expert who led the review into building safety after the Grenfell fire. I don't think I've ever seen anything that bad. She told us that the culture of how people in tower blocks in Britain are treated isn't changing fast enough. When I talk to residents in the wake of, the, of, of Grenfell, when I talk to residents in other tower blocks as part of my review, one of the common complaints from residents was nobody listens to us. And that, I'm afraid, is typical. And that's, the, that's one of the kind of fundamental cultural issues we've got to get over. 
but here that feels like a losing battle. I feel just neglected. I just don't even feel like I'm human. Like. And just how many others across Britain are tonight still being ignored.